BDFI aims to disrupt digital innovation for more inclusive, sustainable and prosperous societies. And we believe that we can't do that unless we bring people together from very different knowledge bases. Susan, my co-director, comes with a background on sociology and myself come from a background in engineering. There's such a breadth of thought on the table I was in. From somebody who's an expert in nanobots for swarm medicine to somebody else who's an expert in the genderization of AI in humanoid robots to a classicist and commercial lead from a large telecoms company. What I've particularly been surprised by is the willingness of so many people on the science and tech side to talk to those of us from other islands within this ecosystem. We're really pleased to be hosting several of our colleagues here in the Emerging Ideas Zone. These are people who have been awarded seed corn funding from the Bristol Digital Futures Institute. What it does is provides the forward-looking research in terms of where we're going, potentially across the world and how that helps to shape our policy and strategy in the region. I think having a space where we can test these technologies with the local community is going to be absolutely brilliant. So what the Reality Emulator is, is an advanced digital twin. They can experience real time the interventions that we are making into the future design of our city one of the exercises was we looked at a city that is in the making called Neom, which is based in Saudi Arabia, and the kinds of ethical and political questions we might ask around how tech is being implemented. So get under the skin of the project, question the values that are driving it. So what Neom is purporting to be able to do is completely unrealistic <laughs> and completely unsustainable. I suppose it's meant to be creating like an innovation ecosystem that's going to accelerate technological progress somehow, I suppose, is the idea. What kind of skills are going to be attracted into this area? Yeah, and, um, and also the types of businesses this will attract. Many of them may not have done a day's work in their life and they're, they're just there to kind of lord it up in this perfect existence. The renewed interest in involving the community and co-designing things is a really positive step forward for Bristol. I'm really optimistic about BDFI's role in, in brokering those conversations to do digital innovation differently. Finally, I'd like to thank you all and invite you all to continue the provocative conversations. Thank you all for coming. For people interested in getting involved in BDFI, I would say please get in touch. There's so much opportunity here for innovation, for collaboration and for joint research.